All right, so uh, say we're going to grab this nice flat edge here. It seems like it'd be a great hold, especially if it's on a nice flat wall. So again, thing you want to try to avoid is doing this. So you see how my hand and finger is on much more than a 90 degree bend. All my weight is on my fingertips and my thumb is even extra pushing down. Uh, proper way you want to try to maintain, open handed. So you want to try to maintain no more than a 90 degree angle. So basically what this is doing is now your tendons are all in that one nice smooth curve and going down a nice line. You don't want sharp curves in them. That's what's going to strain those points and then that's again big chance for injury. So when climbing up, yes this will feel harder, yes you will fall off much more but again if you stick with it and in the long run this will be much more beneficial to your climbing and preventing injury of yourself. And sometimes if your pinky's a little short he kind of slips off there a little bit so don't worry about it. That little guy, don't worry about that little guy. So going up you want to maintain open handedness you want to, if you can, use the thumb at the bottom. Be very beneficial. Gives you a little bit more staying power. Not a big necessity with the thumb, however, especially considering most of your body weight is down. If you can't do it right away, don't worry about it. If you can, that's great. Definitely something to work towards, though. So here, this is, I'm going to show you guys the bad technique of grabbing. This would be to hold on like this all my weights on my fingertips it's I don't I wouldn't even say that it feels more solid at this point this just feels like it's gonna hurt if I pull myself up on this it's gonna hurt whereas if I let go come back at it much more open-handed technique I try to maintain that 90 degrees and it's much much easier to pull up on this I get more surface contact with the top of the hold with my fingers. I get the little thumb on the side here. And I can pull up much more comfortably. Again, short term gain and long term gain in this case. So the last hold we did, we, it was nice big, could fit all four fingers on. Uh, sometimes you might run into a situation where you have to grab something nice and small like this guy. I uh, can't actually fit all four fingers on this. Maybe three, but most likely two fingers depending on how big your fingers are. So the open-handed technique again still applies. And actually, if you were to try to do this, you're really reefing down on one finger. Because your thumb pressing on it is really putting a lot of stress on that one index finger. So by you using the open-handed technique, you can actually distribute the weight much more evenly across your fingers whether it be three two or sometimes you can even just have one finger in a in a hold whether it be this one this one this one all depends on the hold but when it's more than one you can much more evenly distribute the weight and it becomes much easier to pull up on it now again pulling up on a hold this size is again just limited to your physical strength but this technique applies to holds of any shapes or size. So again, a hold of this size, however, not necessarily forces you to use the open-handed technique, but makes it much easier because you can fit your entire finger, finger length in contact with the hold, makes it nice and easy to grab. If you feel up to it, you can actually, as if you're pinching this, but then you see I'm more relying on the tips of my fingers again, whereas this, my entire finger is in contact. So in this case, personally, I would not pinch it. It may just be the fact that the size of my hands doesn't really allow it comfortably. But you can definitely see how maintaining 90 degrees or less, uh, my tendons aren't under super strain, and I can very easily pull my body weight up on this hold. All right, so other side of the extreme is a hold like this, very, very small. You'll only be able to fit the tips of your fingers no matter what you do, but still trying to maintain 90 degrees or less. So this one will push my fingers pretty much to the edge of 90 degrees, but I could still use it to 
pull my body weight up. 